Everybody, welcome back to the brand new release preview video. Today we have 2022 Top Series 2. We have a jumbo box for you. And you'll have to uh, forgive me if you hear a little bit of background noise. We're actually on location. I picked this box up at a card store on my way back from a Dave Matthews Band concert. So we're in a park-like setting. So you may hear some ambiance in the background, birds singing, cars going past, whatever. But we're going to go ahead and see what we can find in here. Now, this box is for Jack Holland. Jack, thank you very much for sponsoring this video. I hope that we can find some good stuff in here. Now, previously, we were all a little bit kind of dismayed by the checklist in this product. The fact was that all the good rookie cards that we were hoping to find in here, Bobby Witt Jr. and Spencer Torkelson and... J-Rod, Julio Rodriguez, C.J. Abrams, Jeremy Pena, and so on and so on. All these good rookies that started off the season in April with their teams weren't even included in this set. However, recent events have unfolded, and the big three are in this set as short prints. So Julio Rodriguez, Bobby Witt, and Spencer Torkelson, they have short prints and autographs in this set. So we're going to hope that we can find those. These boxes, you can buy them. They're about $250 a piece on most of the big websites like Steel City and Blog Cards. So let's go ahead and see what we can find in here. Thank you very much for joining us, everybody. We'll be breaking this, or case of this, live tomorrow, Sunday evening, Saturday showdown style. I've got a bunch of cases of 2022 Series 2 for us to open up. So let's open this one for Jack and see what we can find. There will be a silver pack, as always, on the front. And by the way, I am collating a collection of these silver packs currently i'm going to try to get a hundred of them so you can see if they're good or not we've seen some releases where the silver packs have been absolutely awful a la 2021 update and some releases where the silver packs have been very good so you see the box topper there alex bregman you'll get one of those in every box and we have our two silver packs two silver packs per jumbo and one silver pack per hobby bat box so there's 10 packs total in each and every box 46 cards per pack 460 total cards all right jack here we go here's all the odds you can pause it and read through those now uh you'll notice one big thing here that i'm noticing is the gold odds are one in six that's actually really good for all of you here's why I believe in Series 1, the gold odds were 1 in 12. So that means this was printed a lot less than Series 1. So that's good. Anytime the print runs are lower, it's usually better for the overall value of the product. So let's go ahead and see what we can find in pack number 1. We'll be doing a lot with Series 2 over the next week or so. You'll see the designs are still the same. We'll be chasing after the home field advantage cards as well. And Wander Franco has a home field advantage card on the checklist as well. So there's home field advantage cards, very nice, one for each team. And uh, they're kind of like Topps' answer to the downtown. Now in terms of rookies in this checklist, there's Greg Diekman. Now unfortunately, there's not a lot of great base checklist cards in here. You've got Shane Boz. You've got Seth Beer, you've got O'Neill Cruz. Those are probably the top three. We have a parallel here of Greg Diekman. So, all right, we'll take the icy green parallel. It's numbered, by the way, out of 499. So you might see some more numbered cards in this. So for the showdown tomorrow, it might actually be a pretty good thing that the uh, they've printed less of this based off of what we've seen on the, uh, the back of that first wrapper. So there's one Yepes. He's another one of the top rookies. A lot of folks would put him in the top three as well. Juan Yepes started off pretty good for the Cardinals. And I think he may have made his debut with the Cardinals in the playoffs last year, but he's having a good season. So go ahead and toss him in with uh, Shane Boz and Seth Beer and O'Neill Cruz as the top, one of the top guys to look for. Anyway, we're also looking for relics. We're looking for autographs. There's one autograph and two relics per box. Now one of those relics will be a manufactured patch as so we hear a motorcycle go off in the background. A little bit different setup today. There's Michael Chavis for the Buccos in his Homestead Grays uniform. We've got Steven Riding's rookie card. There's a name I've never heard of before. A lot of rookies you'll just never hear from again. Some guys will just kind of be under the radar and then really start to do well down the road. Cooper Criswell. Looks like we may have a gold card coming up here. That might actually be a gold foil card. The gold foil cards are not numbered. So kind of tough to know how many 
gold foil cards there were in previous releases of Topps. They only did about 700 gold foil cards, but there's Alex Verdugo, and we have our autograph. Nice, it's a good one. Jonathan India for Jack. So, Jack, congratulations. You got the Rookie of the Year. Jonathan India, the Rookie of the Year in the National League last year. It's numbered out of 199 baseball stars to Jonathan India. So, there's a nice hit right there. That's not one of those no-name autographs. Typically, the autographs from Topps, you will find them, and uh, they will likely be guys that maybe only had a cup of coffee in the big leagues. And it's nice to have somebody that has had way more than a cup of coffee. He's had the, the, the whole pot. He's, uh, he's won the Rookie of the Year. There's Eric House, who's a really nice, he had like 21 home runs last year. 22 home runs last year. Nice under-the-radar catcher. Trent Grisham struggling this year. He's got to get things turned around. Blake Snell, his teammate right there, Nico Goodrum. Abraham Toro, there's Tommy Edmond with the Cardinals. JT Brubaker, by the way, if you're wondering about the hobby variation of this, I'll probably do a hobby box, and I think I might do it in a face-off Friday this coming week. So if you're wondering what the hobby version of this looks like, it's you know the same as usual, 24 packs with the silver pack. I'll probably face that off against something from 2021 just for a fun little face-off Friday this coming week. we got Mystery Box Monday coming up as well in two days. We've got a brand-new product called Precious Gems. It's a high-end mystery product. I bought all of them. I brought the entire series line because there are some chase cards in there. I want to make sure that we got all the chase cards. So I'll put that for sale on Patreon very soon. There's only 20 packs, though. And I also just purchased the fifth line of J. Claus Series 5. And let me tell you, there's a chase card in this one worth $6,000. And it's... I, I cannot wait to do that one. So Jay Claus has had some nice chase cards in the past, usually in the one to two thousand dollar range. Um, I think maybe the highest one was actually fifteen hundred dollars with the Mike Trout um, PSA ten Bowman draft. But uh, I'm getting a little crazy now, going with a PSA ten of a. I, I guess I should I tell you who it is yet? I guess I'll wait for and make it a surprise when it comes out. We've got a Jack Flaherty right here. That's going to be a short print, flipped upside down. Jack Flaherty of the Cardinals. Still no relics yet. Those will be coming up. There's really Stargell die cut card. We've got Joey Votto in there as well. And by the way, I picked these up at a local card store. And uh, because I waited and I waited and I waited for my cases to come. And they eventually did, you know, show up. But it was too late. So um, I picked this, this this box up at a card store. And then I went and I spent 400 some dollars as well at the card store. They had this awesome setup. And I bought one pack of everything. So a whole bunch of cool packs. Going the whole way back to 1981. And there's some other nice ones in there. Like 84 Donruss and 85 Tops. And like 92 Bowman. So I think that's going to be a video coming up within the next week or two as well. Looking forward to that. Let's go to our next pack. Still looking for our Relic. Let's see what we can find in this next one for Jack. We've got Giancarlo Stanton on the front. And Henry Ramos rookie card. Christian Arroyo's in there as well. Max Muncy, who got off to a pretty slow start for the Dodgers. Luis Garcia had a rookie card last year. There's Trevor Larnock. Nice prospect. Jose Urquidy and Willie Calhoun. I like that picture of Miles Straw with the Guardians. Got the Guardians jersey on right there. Paul DeYoung. MVP meets rookie. There we go. So Wander Franco. You know, there was news that Wander Franco had a second rookie because when the checklist first came out, they just had Wander Franco on it with a rookie card logo. I think Cardboard Connection may have made a mistake. Everybody got all mad. Like, why is there a second Wander Franco in there? It actually happens to be a Franco and Tati split card. So it's, there's no second um, rookie card of Wander in here. So we can all rest easy on that. There's Jose Siri rookie card. Always nice to see some of these guys uh, that had first Bowmans and Bowman cards for the past few years get rookie cards. By the way, this is another one of the nice rookies. I listed four good rookie cards for you earlier. You may have to start considering Ronzi Contreras and putting him on that list. He's a top-notch prospect with the Pirates, has nasty stuff. This card is so good, Jack, that I think we should sleeve that one up, Ronzi Contreras. So I guess if we expand it to the top five, we got Seth Beer and Shane Boz and O'Neill Cruz, Ronzi Contreras and Juan Yepes would be my top five. We got the Jonathan India. That's in no particular order. You can kind of mix and match those. Sweet Shades, nice one right there. So you remember the flashiest feet? Well, I guess this is their 
uh, version of that, Sweet Shades Beau Bichette. I definitely like that more than the Feet uh, insert cards from um, last release. Those were just kind of weird. Got a Cole Tucker right there. He just got DFA'd, and he got claimed on waivers by the Arizona Diamondbacks. I think he's actually from there, so he's getting to go back home. Jay Happ just retired, so that'll be Jay Happ's final tops card if you're a big Jay Happ fan. Can throw that one in your collection and some people have collections where they do first tops card last tops card which is kind of a cool thing to do another Juan Yepes rookie card so two of his rookies by the way I'm probably going to try to put together a set of these from a jumbo box that was a fun video we did that one a little while ago with series one when it first came out and we did the entire set from one jumbo box and it came close like there was some instances where we just barely skirted by and uh, we got the entire set of 330 cards from one jumbo box. Now, that's not always going to happen. Sometimes you'll come up a little short. Sometimes I've heard stories of people coming up two cards short or eight cards short. And sometimes you can put together the entire set. You just get lucky. We might try that one again live at some point over the next week or so. Since Series 2 is, you know, the hot thing right now with everyone chasing those short prints. Now, I went out to Walmart yesterday and I found a whole bunch of cards. And Heather... Um, sent me the pictures of the Walmart she was at and uh, just tons of cards, but no Series 2 anywhere. You can tell they were just restocked. And there we go. There's a Bo Bichette and Vladdy. Nice card right there. Casey Mize. We've got Brandon Lau as well from Tampa Bay. 39 home runs last year. Still an under-the-radar guy. We've got a Luis Frias. I get a little bit nervous every time I get to the middle of one of these packs because I'm hoping there's going to be the J-Rod or Bobby Wade. I think Julio Rodriguez is my my, my big chaser, I would like to find him. But I'm hoping that tomorrow we're opening enough cases of this. I've got five jumbo cases that we can find Julio Rodriguez in one of those packs tomorrow. I hope we can find all of them. I don't have any information as to the rate that they're inserted. I know that the bat down, remember the bat down Ronald Acuna Jr. card from 2018 update? That was roughly one in every jumbo case. So if that's the case, well, we might find five J-Rod short print rookie cards tomorrow if we do five cases. You can sign up for that, by the way, if you're interested in participating in that break. We're doing it Saturday Showdown style. No Saturday Showdown tonight. Everything's kind of got pushed back by a day. So we'll do that tomorrow. And our next auction, if you're wondering about that, will be on Wednesday this coming week. There's Ryan Mount Castle with the Gold Cup card, deservedly so since he had 28 home runs last year which was a record for the Orioles. I think it was 28. There's the Fran Mill, Fran Mill Reyes. Sounds like a truck is dumping off some dirt behind me right now. So a little extra bonus audio for you. There's Jordan Lyles, gold. And we got a Mike Trout, sweet shades. Mike Trout insert card with Shohei Otani right behind it. So not too bad. Shohei Otani also has a base card in this. He's card number 660 at the back of the set if you're a big Otani collector. But I'll tell you what, I think that the update series is going to be absolutely crazy this year. 2022 update, look out. All the good rookie cards that were left off the checklist for this, they should all be in that. That might be the best checklist since 2018. 2019 was a great checklist as well. But uh, man, that might be the best one in some time. Of course, 2020 update was very lacking with basically no major i mean you had randy rose Arena and trent grishman there those are the top two for the longest time and however they that was their second rookie cards they had rookie cards from other teams in series one and uh, now with all these good rookies this could be the best set since like i said 2019 2019 was nice on all those good rookie debuts you had the vladdy rookie card in there as well there's joe ryan little fly trying to get in the frame there willie Domace jumping up for a jump five we got will myers there as well brian reynolds from the buckos by the way still looking for a relic so we've got three packs left i don't i don't think we've found them yet unless i've just been talking so much that i've totally passed them by i don't think that's the case though we got josh harrison gold foil card there's jose altuve dylan carlson gold cup card there's brad keller Ryan O'Hearn, Aaron Hicks. Looks like he's about to center a ball up right there. Boston Red Sox team card. Got to love those team cards. I'd probably give you about 10 in this series. I think they've tried to divide this up 10 in each. 
series. Ronald Torres. I love this guy. Here's why. I used to collect baseballs. I'd, I'd go to games. I haven't done it in, like, years. I think 2019 was the last time I went to a batting practice. But I got my 5,000th ball from Ronald Torres in Cleveland. A ground rule double right over the fence, right into my glove out in center field. So I always feel a little connected to him. That was back when he was with the New York Yankees. Next one up, let's see if we can find pack number eight out of ten. Should have the re no, still no. I maybe actually there is a relic in there. We'll see. There's Daniel Vogel back in his Brewers uniform. I guess uh, a little bit uh, behind in times. Couldn't get him in his Pirates uniform. He's been with the Pirates the whole season. Maybe he'll have an, an update card. And there's one of the good rookies, O'Neill Cruz, who, as of the filming of this video here Saturday morning, he is still not with the Pirates. He'll be up eventually. He started off the season very slow in the minor leagues. They actually sent him down because I, I, I don't know why. Because yeah, they're the Pirates. And they're like, oh, go work on your defense or something so we don't have to uh, pay you an extra year of eligibility and arbitration. But he'll be up soon. Jordan Romano, nice lights out closer there for the Blue Jays. Nice card right there. We've got Romy Gonzalez. Jordan Montgomery, and let's see what we've got. We've got Alec Bohm out of 71. That's a tough pull right there. Alec Bohm, black border. So it's been a Bohm week around here. We pulled a one of one Alec Bohm a few days ago from a silver pack. I think it may have been Tuesday. And now we have a future star. And guess what? They're both going to Jack Holland. So, Jack, I hope you like Alec Bohm. You might as well start up a PC of him because now you have his future star out of 71. That's a nice one. And we get an A rod. As a relic, Alex Rodriguez, so a pretty decent box right now. Jonathan India autograph, and now Alex Rodriguez, game use bat to go with it. So there's one other hit left. It's going to be the manufactured patch, and uh, who knows? Maybe it'll be a numbered one. Usually those are typically not worth all that much money. I love this name. So we had Lars Newtbar in Series 1, which was the name that I was just crazy about. Now we have Packy Naughton. What a great baseball name. Packy Naughton, my new favorite name in Series 2. Got a good old Packy Naughton. I, I feel like Packy, if you're out there watching, which you're probably not, but if, if you ever would see this video, you need to start a YouTube channel opening up packs. Call it Packs with Packy or Packy's Packs. What a great baseball name. Packy Naughton. Can't get over that. Alex Cobb and Kenta Maeda right there. So we're down to two packs left. Like I said, we'll have a manufactured patch coming out of one of these two. We also have the silver packs as well. The birds are singing. The bees are buzzing. The ants are crawling by. The, the, <laughs> the traffic is going by behind me. And we are hoping for a big hit here as we wrap this video up on location near the card store. I just wanted to get this one up ASAP. I didn't want to wait until later today and get it up at uh, like super late tonight. There's Frankie Montas. Jason or Jansen Junk, another great baseball name. So if Packy Naughton wasn't enough for you and you didn't like that one for whatever reason, well, we got Jansen Junk, another great name right there, Jansen Junk. I wonder what kind of pitches he has in his repertoire. Definitely has to have some junk balls in there, hopefully. Austin Gomber, and now we have a Will Clark. 1992 All-Star game played out in San Diego patch. It is not numbered, so Will the Thrill Clark. Not a bad box for hits. I mean, the, the Will Clark's not a crazy hit. Maybe worth a couple bucks. Seth Beer, rookie card again. Another nice one right there. Seth Beer was always a nice prospect coming up with the Houston Astros. I think he went over in the Zach Granke deal a few years ago, and that's how he was acquired. Got Andres Jimenez with the Guardians. And we're down to just one pack left with the Silver Packs. Let's see if we can get lucky and find a parallel as we close this video out. And who knows, maybe we'll get lucky and find an autograph or some color in the silver packs for Jack. So Jack, thank you very much for sponsoring this video. If you would like to sponsor a video like this one, we sell all of our spots on Patreon. And uh, that goes for videos like this one. And all of our live stream breaks are available on Patreon as well. We're filling up the Saturday showdown. I guess I should call it a Sunday showdown for this week. There's Shane Boz rookie card. We mentioned him earlier. Former Pirate traded for Chris Archer in the worst trade in MLB history. We gave up Austin Meadows, Tyler Glass now, and Shane Boz for Chris Archer. Sorry, Pirates fans, for reminding you. We have a James Caprillion out of 2022. James Caprillion, gold cards, another hit right there for the parallel crowd. Chad Cool back when he was with the Pirates. He's moved on to the Rockies. 
Bradley Zimmer making a nice jumping catch. I was always hoping for big things from Bradley Zimmer. Has had some injuries. I don't know if we've seen the uh, the Wander. Wasn't there a Wander and uh, Tatis combo card? I don't think we've seen that one yet. But there's Marcus Semyon with the Texas Rangers, Carter Keboom, and Luis Diaz. So we're going to wrap things up with the Silver Packs. If you like Series 2, we have a whole bunch more of these coming, like I said. Let me know in the comments how you feel about Series 2. I know a lot of you are really disappointed when the checklist first came out a week or two ago when we saw that all the good rookie cards weren't on there. Now, it's not great that they're not on there, but it's nice to have some nice chasers. So if you're just like a casual collector and you're just going to buy a couple boxes here and there, maybe blaster boxes, probably not a good thing for you. But if you're like more of a hardcore collector and you love chasing after things, you got some nice chasers with those short prints. So here we go, our silver packs. We got Brandon Lau leading things off and Babe Ruth. There's King Felix Hernandez and Trey Turner is the last card. And here we go, last pack of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. Also, there's a notification bell right next to it. Tap that as well so you don't miss a thing. And by the way, there's a National Baseball Card Day coming up on August the 6th. If you go to your local card store, you will get a free pack of tops. If you spend at least, I think it's like 10 or 20 bucks, you'll get a free card with it. Mike Trout, Wade Boggs, Fernando Tatis Jr. And final card. It's going to be a Matt Brash rookie card. So, Jack, thank you very much for sponsoring this video. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Saturday. And I, I've got a big fly box for you as well. I filmed that one last night. So I'll put that one up today as well. And then tomorrow, it's the Sunday showdown where we have a whole bunch of cases of 2022 Top Series 2 to rip open for you. So have a great rest of your Saturday, and I will see you all later. Good night, everybody.